Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In my previous video where I tried this new lip powder, lipstick, I asked you guys at the end what you wanted to see next. So a lot of you guys have voted and I think the nail spray definitely wins. So today I'm gonna to be trying the Nails Ink Paint in the Can Nail Spray. So I just purchased these from Sephora in LA. I'm in LA at the moment and I'm filming at the Ipsy studio. So pretty excited about that. But I bought these for $12 each and this is two different colors. This is Mayfair Lane, which is a pink color and Shoreditch Lane, which is a gray silvery color. And also I bought the um, Nails Ink 2-in-1 base and top coat for $8. So first you have to apply the base coat on first so that the spray has something to stick to. And then I guess I'm just gonna spray a coat or two of this, let it dry, apply the top coat, and then wash my hands to see if it works. Apparently it's supposed to be really good for those of you who are sort of clumsy when it comes to painting your nails. And uh, this is supposed to make it everything like so much easier. So let's give it a go. So I'm just gonna paint the base coat on first. This is pretty, it's pretty easy. Well, I guess you still have to paint your nails. I think any base coat will do, so maybe you don't even have to go out and buy the specific base or top coat. This is the longest that I've had my nails bare, and it's specifically for this video, and my nails are so thin, because I usually have like a gel top coat or something over it to make it a bit thicker, but they're so fragile at the moment. Who else's natural nails are like that? Hands up, I feel your sister. Okay, so I've got my base coat on. I'm going to try the pink color, which is the Mayfair Lane color. Shake it up. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's cold. So this is what it looks like up close. It looks like I literally just sprayed my fingers and they're all crusty and dry. I didn't expect it to be this color. This color is like a very white. It doesn't quite look like what it's supposed to look like on the cap. Oh, well, I guess sort of. It's very light and maybe there's like a little bit of pink. Or maybe I was just to spray it off more. Like on paper it looked like that color. On my fingers it doesn't, so okay. My thumb kind of bubbled up a little bit, but the rest look okay. Maybe I'll just spray another coat, just to make sure. Oh, it's looking much more pink now. I swear, this must be really toxic. I don't think this is really good for you, so it could be a health hazard. It's like going everywhere. I don't know about this. So far, it looks really... My fingers look really crusty and dry. It's a very, very light pink. On camera, it sort of comes off looking a bit more white. Okay, so now I'm supposed to put the top coat on. Oh, my fingers are all stiff. Now, the only thing about this product is that it doesn't tell you how long it takes to dry. So I guess it depends on how many layers or how like Thick you sprayed the color on it will depend on how long it'll take but then it makes me think is it any faster I surely would just like just buy a bottle of color and paint it on I don't know I'm not feeling this product so far and a lot of you guys did warn me that you guys have tried it out and it wasn't amazing so yeah should have listened to you it's been about 10 minutes. Do you think it's dry? I think it's dry. I'm gonna touch it. Mm. Yeah, it feels dry. Doesn't feel like the best quality nail polish. It's sort of really lumpy and a bit bubbly. But I'm gonna go and wash it off and see how it is and see if it stays after I wash it. Okay, so I just washed my hands and the polish spray did come off my skin. Um, just around the cuticles, it looks a bit nasty. And to be honest, it's already chipping. It's already like chipping around the corners. And um, yeah, will I try this again? Probably not. So I'm not gonna even bother with the other color. I might do a giveaway. Do you guys 
want to win this um it's probably not the best product for a giveaway but i'm not going to use it so if you guys want it um make sure you follow me on instagram and snapchat if you just comment and let me know that you want the nail polish spray on my latest photo and i'm going to announce the winner on snapchat so follow me there it's tina underscore yong I don't know what to say about this. It's not an amazing product. I don't feel like I love this or even like it. It's not, it's not even worth 12 bucks. I feel like I got ripped off. I would just rather buy like a nail polish color and just apply it on like normal because it's not that difficult to paint your nails. And if you do get it on your skin or around the cuticles, it's much easier to clean it up than to wash and scrub around your whole finger. And um, yeah. Out of 10 for this product, oh god, it's so hard to rate this. I don't want to be mean, but I'm going to be very honest. I would probably give it a 2 out of 10. I'm sorry, Nails Inc. You have like better products out there. This is, uh, it sounded like a very good innovation, but realistically, it's not worth $12 each. Yeah, so paint and a can definitely will not be on my monthly favorites. So yeah, so take my advice. Don't try it because Tina tried it and she doesn't like it. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed another one of my Tina Tries It episode. Next episode, I'm going to be trying the Glam Glow Gravity Mask. So it's like a peel off mask. It looks really fun. Hopefully that will be interesting. So make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. And, um, and then after that, I'm going to do the bubble clay mask. But if there's anything else you want me to try, I'm thinking because I'm in LA, I might try like American snacks or American candy. So I'm going to buy a whole heap of that and bring it back to Australia. Australia with me so if you guys want to see that make sure you like comment below and yeah I'll speak to you guys next time bye